Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This video is an update to a video I made several months ago where I built my Linsky Livewire Hardtail Titanium Mountain Bike. I showed you some techniques that are particular to building a titanium bike, techniques that'll work with building any bike, and also a complete list of parts that I put on this bike originally. Since then, I've changed a couple things on the bike and they're not major, total major deals. The bike was awesome to start with, but it's even better now that I, I made a couple upgrades. So this video is not sponsored. All the frame and the parts that you see, I bought with my own money, so all the opinions are my own. They're not influenced by any kind of sponsor. I will have links in the description where you can purchase bicycle parts and other stuff that supports the channel. So you can see that original video. There should be a link over the top of my head where you can, that'll take you to the original video so you can see the original build video if you're interested in seeing how I built this bike. So the upgrades I made to the bike were two things basically. I'm, I put on flat pedals which you see right here. I put these, I went from clip-in pedals to these flat pedals. These are some spank aluminum pedals I had. I had these for many years. I had them on a different bicycle and instead of putting them leaving them on my commuter bike I put some different pedals on the commuter bike took these off because these are just a, a true flat mountain biking pedal they have the the uh, pins here that really grab onto your shoes and I had a couple crashes when I was clipped in I really couldn't get out my foot out quick enough and now years ago when you rode mountain bikes kind of old school you you if you dab put your foot down that was kind of considered uh that was a knock against you. you you weren't quite as good of a rider as, as you could be it's not like that anymore a lot of the young guys most of the all the young guys are riding the flat pedals like especially the all mountain the guys that are jumping and everything and a lot of the older guys i ride with they've all gone to the flat pedals just easier to get off and they frankly work just as well and your foot stays on them just like it was in the clip-in pedals. The pins and everything just hold your foot right on them. And that was just kind of an upgrade, not really to the bike, but more to my riding. And I change them. I, I love these pedals. They're, they're lightweight and they're, they're nice, they're aluminum. Uh, the other thing that I did is I changed my wheels. I went from my original 27.5 inch wheels to these 29 inch wheels. When I originally built the bike, I used my wheels for my old bicycle, my old Ellsworth Epiphany. I wanted to reuse them, especially just to save money because, you know, it costs a lot to build the bike and I was, you know, you get to a point where you're like, hey man, I wanna stop spending money on this thing and ride it. And so that's why I originally wanted to use the original wheels. I, I knew I should have probably had 29ers on it, but I tried to use my 27.5 wheels. You can use 27.5 wheels on this Linsky Livewire if you upgrade to the 27.5 plus tires. I couldn't do that with those rims I had because they were 30 millimeter rims. You need to have a 35 millimeter rim to put, to put uh, 27.5 plus tires on a 27 inch, 27.5 rim. And I couldn't do that. And I I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna get myself a new set of 29 inch wheels. The reason that I was really upgrading was because when I would ride with the 27.5 wheels, I would get pedal strikes when I would be going over obstacles. And that wasn't any good. That happened quite a bit. And in, I was thinking, you know, this, this is just not cool. This is not how this bike's supposed to work. I don't have the right wheels. So I broke down, put together some money, got myself these, these Chris King stands wheels. And these are just a totally awesome set of wheels. They're, they're not a, a Chris King carbon fiber wheel. They have Chris King hubs, which are just totally awesome. If you know about Chris King, it's an American company. They make all their parts in Oregon. They're just beautiful parts. You can't get any better. I mean, they're just as good as anything out there. So they're wonderful. They spin, they just have like no friction. Whenever I'm going downhill, I'm always passing people if we're just coasting because I, I've got these awesome Chris King hubs. And the stands rims, I've also got these on my other Linsky stands rims. I don't have Chris King hubs, but I have stands rims and they worked out really well on my Linsky gravel bike. So I didn't have any problem getting stands rims and it's probably the least expensive of all the, the Chris King wheel setups. And they've just been totally awesome. It stopped the pedal strikes. I don't have pedal strikes anymore. Not a problem now. Really upgraded the bike. The one thing that happened is I have a 34 tooth chain ring on this bike that worked really well with the 27.5 wheels. When I upgraded to the 29s, that gear ratio changed and I wasn't able to make it up some steep climbs. We have some short, I have some places I ride where there's some short steep climbs and I just wasn't able to make it up because I wasn't able to spin these up quite as fast. Eventually I may upgrade the chain ring from, uh, may, maybe not upgrade, but just change from a 34 to, to a, a 30 or a 32, just to get that ratio back to what it was when I originally built the bike and when I had the 27.5 inch wheels. That's basically the whole thing. I wanted to make this short video just to update the other video because a lot of people are, are watching the other video, making comments. And I thought it was only fair to, to show that, yeah, that, that's the video I made in the beginning. I did update it. The bike was awesome before. It's even better now. Uh, uh, I can't recommend you know it enough. It's just great to be back on a hardtail from a full suspension. The bike 
just for your information. It weighs 30 pounds. I think it weighed about that when I built, first built it with the other wheels and tires. If you enjoy the video or you found value in this video or any of my other videos, please hit that thumbs up button. Give me a like, leave me a comment. That's really important. And also consider subscribing to the channel. It's an outdoor channel. I, I do overlanding, outdoor gear, camping gear reviews. Consider subscribing. There's a lot of interesting stuff and I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos this year. So hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Really helps out with YouTube, the algorithm. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget, the best is yet to come.